Hi, today we're showing off Arc version 0.5, which comes with a big new feature, branches. If you're familiar with previous versions, you'll notice straight away that we have a new history panel focused on branches. There's a white outline around both our current change list ID and our current branch node. To showcase branches, we currently have a project with the main in GUI branch imported from GitHub. It has over 7,000 change lists, and as you can see, Arc continues to be as responsive as ever. We want to create a new branch to import the changes from imgui docking branch. We can branch directly from the context menu of a change list. We name our new branch and we click branch and switch to immediately switch to it. Notice how there's a new node with a different color and a white outline around it. A triangle represents the start of a new branch. Since we switch to this new branch, a white outline is now around this new node. Now we use git to fetch the imgui docking branch. Arc automatically identifies all changes, but let's split them into two different change lists. As we commit them, we'll see new entries appear in the history. Change list IDs are sequential, which makes it easier to refer to specific change lists and shared across all branches to help us reason about what may have been merged. If the other change list ID is bigger than our current one, then it can't have been merged yet. So now that we're happy with it, we can go back to our dev branch and merge these changes. To do so, we right click on a change list of that branch and choose one of the options. We're back on the dev branch's latest change list. The way we inform that a change list has not yet been merged into our current one is by fading its ID and comment. To merge the first change list, we right click on it and choose a merge option. This will create a new local change list with all those files. Whenever a file has been merged, it will have a merge icon next to it. When you hover each file, you'll also see from which change list they were merged. Once we commit these changes, the history panel will show that the merge has occurred between the two branches. Notice how the change list with the examples is shown as not yet merged. After merging the examples, they'll all show up as merged. The final thing I'd like to show you is branch customization. In the projects panel, we can see all the branches. Here we can change some settings including the color and even the name of this branch, and it propagates to every user. This concludes our showcase of the initial branching functionality in Arc. For more information, please visit arc-vcs.com and if you like the direction Arc is taking, please consider supporting it by pre-ordering. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.